welcome to our channel bright mass in this video let us learn the difference between indefinite integrals and definite integrals in indefinite integrals we don't have limits that is integral f of x dx that means we have to integrate the function f of x with respect to x in definite integrals we have the limits that is integral limits a to b f of x dx so here after integrating the function we have to apply the limits next in indefinite integrals we have to add the constant finally that is integral f of x dx equal to after integrating this we have to add the constant so this small f of x after integrating we write capital f of x and we have to add the constant plus c whereas in definite integrals we don't add the constant because we apply the limits so here integral limits a to b f of x dx equal to this function small f of x integration is capital f of x and then we have to apply the limit that is upper limit minus lower limit here upper limit is b so capital f of b minus lower limit is a so capital f of a like that we apply the limits and so finally we should not add the constant next indefinite integrals gives general solution for example integral cos x dx we can integrate cos x integral cos x formula is sin x so this is equal to sin x plus c this is a general solution and this is also a function sin x is also a function so this is a general solution but in definite integrals we get a definite value so finally we get a value so this is a value solution for example integral same function cos x dx here we take the limits from 0 to pi by 2 so after integrating this we have to apply the limit cos x integration is sin x and we have the limits 0 to pi by 2 apply the limit upper limit sin pi by 2 that is sin 90 degree 1 minus lower limit sin 0 sin 0 is 0 so this is 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1 so here finally we get the value 1 these are the three differences between indefinite integrals and definite integrals note that in indefinite integral we don't have limits whereas in definite integral we must have limits in indefinite integrals we have to add the constant plus c but in definite integrals we don't add the constant instead we apply the limits in indefinite integrals finally we get a function that is general solution whereas in definite integrals finally we get a value so we get finally a number let us see one problem and we can understand the difference thoroughly consider the problem integral 3x square plus 8x plus 2 into dx we have to integrate this here we don't have limits so this is indefinite integral this is equal to x squared integration is x cube divided by 3 so 3x squared is 3 into x squared is x cube by 3 plus 8 into x integration is x square divided by 2 plus 2 integration is 2x and finally we have to add the constant plus c this is indefinite integral so we have to add the constant plus c 
and this is also a function so this is a general solution and here in the first term we can cancel 3 so this is x cube plus next term cancel 2 we get 4x square plus 2x plus c this is a general solution so let us consider the same problem with limits here we take the limits from 1 to 2 function is same function 3x square plus 8x plus 2 into dx and so integration also same only 3 into x squared integration x cube divided by 3 plus 8 into x integration x square divided by 2 plus 2 integration is 2x and we have the limits 1 to 2 here lower limit is 1 and upper limit is 2 so when we apply this we have to apply the upper limit first so upper limit minus lower limit and here simplifying this 3 3 get cancelled so this is x cube plus cancel 2 this is 4x squared plus 2x we have the limit 1 to 2 now look at the two sides here in indefinite integrals this is the general solution we have the same solution here and note the difference here we add plus c and we stop the answer whereas in definite integral we don't add the constant because we have the limits so we are going to apply the limits so till this we have same step only difference is here we have plus c and this side we have limits since we have limits we apply the limits and finally we get the value apply the upper limit that is put x is equal to 2 so 2 cube plus 4 into 2 squared plus 2 into 2 minus substitute the lower limit 1 so put x is equal to 1 that is 1 cube plus 4 into 1 square plus 2 into 1 now this is equal to 2 cube is 8 plus 4 into 4 16 plus 2 into 2 4 minus 1 cube is 1 plus 4 into 1 4 plus 2 into 1 2 so adding this first bracket we get 28 minus adding this second bracket we get 7 so finally 28 minus 7 is 21 that is the answer so now see the difference between these two exactly there are three differences here in indefinite integral we don't have limits but in definite integral we have limits and in indefinite integral we have to add plus c but in definite integral we have to apply the limits that is upper limit minus lower limit in indefinite integral finally we get general solution but in definite integral finally we get a value therefore it is a value solution thanks for watching